Welcome to tutorial number 157. In the previous tutorial, we made this box and we made that jaw close the box. So in this tutorial, we will see the second method of creating a jaw by an existing sketch. We will make a hanging tab in this box. So let's start a sketch in that space normal to and I will draw a slope and define it with dimensions and add relation So here we have this slot and I will make it for construction because I need the down part. Put the line and quickly make this seam slot. So if you go to the extrude to make the cut you'll notice that the thin feature is not working so let's create the sketch manually go to the sketch offset and offset for 1.5 millimeter click ok and close the gaps Or the solid cut and head up the next. So now let's start a sketch for the bending line. Click on the same face, sketch normal tool. And now I will place the bending line over here and see if it will be accepted go to the exit the sketch or go to the jog you will see that the jog is activated over here and the fixed face, select this face, but you will notice that the job feature didn't work and you didn't get the right view. So close this and again, let's edit this line. So again, let's talk about the bending lines. The bending lines should be in the center of the bending radius. For example, exit that sketch and go sheet metal and flatten and here you will notice the bending line and let's again bend it again just to make it clear here here you have the bending line and a flatten So over, over the bending lines here over here and you'll notice the bending line is in the center of the bendings so let's again edit the sketch normal to and let's add a distance so delete this line and make a new line so you see we made a distance 
on the line and the window. So let's make it one millimeter and it should be not less than bending radius, which is 0.7 something. So now let's go to the job. Select the fixed face. And now here you have the job is working. So this is one issue we could solve and here you will see the option that we talked about before. I would like to make it five millimeter from this face to inside face of the tab. Um, the bending is inside. If we, we can also make it outside or to make it inside and the the, the angle angle I will make it 40 degree and then click OK here we created this tab but there will be an issue with this tab so let's flatten this tab so you flatten the tab and if you have a look over there you will see that the tab is intersecting with the plate and we can solve this either to make the cut bigger or as we learned before or to make the bending radius of the job included in the total length which is more logical so edit this feature and go to fix projected length so and this is the realistic or mostly how it looks and click ok flatten and you'll see the cut will be similar to the sketch we made to create this tab and flatten now let's close this box select edge flange select this and up to vertex and select this point and also select the opposite edge then click OK And here is the box initially closed and if you would like to improve it further you can try to reverse the direction of this closing jog and add more edge flanges on this side similar to this so I can close this one 